Hi boys and girls. Today I'd like to teach you uh, a lesson 2.6 on multiplication with area models or you could call it multiplication with expanded form. We all know expanded form you take a number like 136 and you say 100 plus 30 plus 6. I'm going to show you how to use the expanded form in order to solve multiplication problems when you're dealing with multi-digit numbers. This is one way to stay organized and also you could use it to check your work to make sure you're doing the correct multiplication. We're going to work on this problem today. The gift shop at the animal park orders five boxes of toy animals. Each box has 143 toys. How many toy animals does the shop order? This problem uses repeated boxes and it says each box. That language tells me that I'm taking each box, 143, and multiplying it by five boxes to find how many is in the total order. This problem looks like this, five times 143. The first thing we have to do is put it in expanded form. To put it in expanded form, we do five times 143 equals five times, and in parentheses, 100 plus 40 plus 3. The next step is to find the area model. The area model is drawn like a box like this, and you take 5 times 143. We put the expanded form, 100, 40, and 3 at the top. This is the setup for it. If this were two digits, there would be two spots. This is a one-digit number, so it's one box by three boxes, because there are three numbers in the expanded form. Now we have to multiply each part to get our partial products. Our partial products are the products of the little problems we have now created. We have to do 5 times 100, 5 times 40, and 5 times 3. When you multiply 5 times 100, you get 500. When you multiply 5 times 40, you get 200. And when you multiply 5 times 3, you get 15. Now our next step is to take these partial products and add these three together. When we add these three together, 500 plus 200 plus 15, we get 715. So with our problem, remember about the gift shop, we've now found that in all their total order is 715 toy animals. Please remember that you can rewind, pause, rewatch, until you totally understand this concept so that you can come class tomorrow and do an activity with it. Your notes in your notebook should look similar to this. So be sure that you pause and write down these notes and that your notebook has this in it in order to do the activity tomorrow. Thank you and wonderful math learning.